What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys this week we have double cash and double RP on the payment of the Fleeka job. Today we are doing a quick guide on this heist so you guys know everything that you need to know and you can start making some money. Now first of all you need a high-end apartment for this and if you are doing it for the first time you first need to go to the green L on the map. So you will have a small cutscene with Lester and after this you can go to the planning board in your apartment and then automatically the first setup will launch. Good tip, always put the setups and also the heists on hard mode so that you will get more money. The first setup mission, scope out, I think this is the easiest setup mission in the entire game so no way that you can screw this up. Simply get in Lester's car, drive to the Flika bank, Lester will show you some footage from the inside of the bank. Afterwards you have to drive back to Lester's warehouse. When driving back, the person in the passenger seat they will have to do some hacks. These hacks you will also do in the final. So this is kind of a practice for this. When you're back at the warehouse, get in the car with Paige, drive to your apartment, and that's the first setup. Second setup is the Kuruma. So in this setup, you will be stealing a Kuruma. If you already have a Kuruma, I really recommend that you use this in this mission. If you don't have it, it's not that big of an issue. Go to the top of the parking lot, kill all the guys, steal the Kuruma that's over there and then simply return it to Lester's warehouse. So these two setup missions, very easy. They take you a little bit more than 10 minutes, but definitely not difficult. Then for the final 503k total take, there are two roles, the driller and the driver. The driller pretty much just has to hack in the car and then drill the safety deposit box, and the driver just has to drive and scare the people in the bank. I would say the more difficult role is definitely the driller, so if there is a more experienced player, let them be the driller. First, you have to get to Lester's warehouse to get the Kuruma. If you have something fast to get there, for example, a Toreador, this is very useful because this will save you a lot of time and then you have more chance of completing the elite challenge. The person in the passenger seat has to do three hacks like this while going to the bank. You can try as much as you want, but just keep in mind, if you do it too slow, you're again losing time. When you get there, you have to unlock the vault by using an app on your phone. And after this, don't forget to equip your masks. After this, you can get in the bank. For the person who is the driver, very simple. Just don't kill anyone and just shoot around a bit and make sure that the people in the bank are scared. For the driller, simply go immediately to the back of the bank to the safety deposit box and then you will have to start drilling. And I think this is the most difficult part about this entire heist. So over here I have some footage from a different heist where I did it pretty decent I would say. A tactic that I use is just hold the R2 button, so the drill power button, kind of halfway, keep this constant and then with your uh, analog stick just push slowly forward. When the drill becomes too red just reduce the power, stop drilling and then when it cools down you can continue. In total you have 4 bars and each time you drill through a bar you will notice that the drill will start spinning really fast. All you have to do then is just keep the same speed, so don't play with the speed, but just go slightly more forward with the drill, so with your analog stick go slightly more forward. And normally if you do it like this, you can do it in one smooth run. So keep the drill power constant and just go slightly forward with your analog stick and if you do it like this, normally there will be no issues. Just make sure that you don't push forward too much with the drill, because then it will overheat. After this, get back in the Kuruma, drive to the bridge, get under the cargo bob, it will pick you up, and then the heist is done. When driving to the cargo bob, and also when driving to the bank, by the way, try not to damage the Kuruma too much, because this is also a part of the elite challenge. So that's basically it, 503k that you have to split over two people. In total, this heist will take you 20 to 25 minutes, so it's definitely a good payment. Keep in mind, the host doesn't get money during the setups, so normally the take of the host should be larger. For the elite challenge, under 5 minutes and 20 seconds, less than 6% damage, and also nobody gets wasted. I think the car damage isn't that difficult if you drive carefully, but the time can definitely be a hard one. So like I said, try to do it as fast as possible and don't waste time where it's not necessary. For the people that are doing it for the first time, if you want to do the Flika job again without doing Prison Break and all of the other ones, simply call Lester, choose the option Replay Heist, choose the Flika job, 
After this, Lester will call you, you can go to your apartment, and then you can launch the heist. So very simple. So guys, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.